We can also compute Cohen's d for multiple comparisons. And remember that this is a measure of effect size. You've learned before that Cohen's d is the difference between sample means divided by the pooled standard deviation in the case of independent samples t-tests. You just learned that the square root of the mean square for within subject variability is essentially the pooled standard deviation. So that's the formula for Cohen's d. However, now we have three samples. Therefore, we'll compute three Cohen's d's, one for each pair of samples. Compute Cohen's d for the difference in means, going in the direction symbolized. 